Hey everyone, welcome back to episode 4 of Animal Crossing! Yay! Just just a heads up, this voiceover is written while I'm playing along, and then there's also live clips in there. So, I don't know about stuff until I discover it, and I'm reading the script as accurately as when I originally wrote it during those things happening. But again, thank you so much for the support on this. All the episodes are over 100 or close to 200k, and because of that, you guys are absolutely amazing. I'm enjoying playing this game. It's like a very quiet, seldom enjoy, enjoy full experience. Pretend that's a word. Just as I was taking a screenshot yesterday for the thumbnail, I was visited by an old hippie dog named Harvey who was walking around and told me to go visit his island. But before I could visit him, my buddy Philly Beats, he was streaming and telling me that he had peaches and cherries on his island and I could have them. And that it seemed fair. It seemed fair for just how far I have gone and buying more and more tickets in order to get different fruit. So I paid him a visit and he was nice enough to even give me a pear tree. He's a good guy. And then I learned that my native fruit sells for 100 bells on my island, but foreign fruit sells for 500 bells on my island. So with the one of each fruit tree, I'm going to repopulate my orange trees over time. It's going to take a while, it's not going to be fast, but a week from now, two weeks from now, it'll definitely be worth it. It turns out that Harvey, or Harv, is a photographer, and his house is like a photo studio. I don't know if there's more to it than that. I'm sure some diehard Animal Crossing fans are going to let me know if there's, like, an actual use for this area, or if it's just you want to take nice screenshots. Uh, speaking of the comment section, there were some absolutely fantastic pro tips left by you guys before. Jordan Vega on the last video said that when a character says yes while reeling in a fish or catching a bug, that means that I haven't caught it before. And I don't need to keep referencing my, my Creaturepedia, Critterpedia, whatever it's called, which is super duper helpful. I'm glad I know this now. So when I reel something in and I say yes... That means it's something new. And now that I have the ladder, I know that there's a private beach area to the north, and I just wanted to know if there was anything different there. I noticed that there's no like natural spawns there, so I brought some bait with me, and I realize now that it's literally just the same exact encounter table. I also got the achievement for 100 casts in a row. So all in all, this trip to the, the secret shore wasn't a complete waste. After that, I decided to look up on the wiki for the fish for March, and I learned that the mouth of the river, the cliff top of a river, have different encounters from just regular river. So I went back and forth between the two river top mouths to try to get myself some some rare some rare fish, and I got a cherry salmon and a freshwater goby, and I'm very excited for that. Then I took the night off to kind of relax a little bit. I woke up early, edited episode 7 of the cage lock, and got back to my village at 12.02 p.m. That time is kind of important going forward. And some of you already know why. All right, it's another beautiful day in Animal Crossing. That's for sure. And uh, it looks like Mabel, who we just saw last night, has a little, uh, little area set up. Very adorable. Oh, and she's in the morning announcements. It's the birthday of our dear, dear island resident, Paula. Congratulations. Now for today's other news. We get a new neighbor today, Bertha. Today, Plays opens his very own museum. Amazing. So we have to go there and talk to Blathers and donate all the stuff that we've been accumulating and leaving in our inventory and outside of his shop. DIY veterans can now take part in a special customization workshop that Tom Nook is hosting, where we can customize and change the look of any DIY projects we create. Ooh, can I have like colorful axes and stuff? And we just got a letter, and it looks like some of our oranges have come in. Amazing. Right after yesterday when I needed all those oranges. Happy Home Academy. 12,621 points. Rank B. This is my first time I scored above 10,000 points, so they're sending me a gift. Awesome. And Gulliver for saving his life by finding all those components that he just shoved into his iPhone. Well, that's great. What did Happy Home Academy give me? An HHA pennant. And Gulliver? A hat. Oh, wow. This made me into Robin Hood. I don't know how I feel about that. I think by far our first order of business is going to be taking all of the bugs and all the fish and all the fossils that we've been accumulating over the last few days and then giving that over to our boy who just made his brand new museum. We have to go there and support our friend and give him these hermit crabs and bag worms and tarantulas and whatnot. He better appreciate this tarantula because I could have sold that for 8,000 bells. Oh! 
It looks like all the residents have upgraded their houses. From the horrible little tents that were here? Paula has a nice big house now? Oh, it's beautiful. That's still a lot. That's still a lot. But look at this! Wow, I really like this. I really wish they didn't ask for a log table. Oh, I could just steal it. Great. I've realized that a few times I have often referred to Blathers as Gunther. That comes from my many, many, many hundreds of hours of playing Stardew Valley and the guy who I give all the stuff to at the museum in Stardew Valley, his name is Gunther. There are entrances to the left, right, and the bottom. And I'm assuming that, you know, the, the little icon above the area tells me exactly what that item is. And now we could give him multiple items at the same time. That might be the best thing. So over here, that's going to be the insects. Down there is going to be the fossils. And over there is going to be the fish. Yeah, I've been busy, dude. <laughs> I wonder if he gives me rewards for donating a certain amount of things. Now, comments from the last video told me that all of my designs that I've been making from the custom DIY panel, I'm going to be able to share this once Mabel has moved in officially. I heard that in order for Mabel to move in, I need to buy 5,000 bells worth of clothing from her. My dream is to open up my own shop right here on the island, but I got to build up a customer base first. Oh God, I wish you had better things. All right, so I bought two shirt dresses and a bowler hat. So, uh... I don't, I don't know if that, if that was enough. Also, it's Sunday and supposedly there's a turnip seller. Ooh, it's a money spot. Speaking of money spots, someone told me that the amount of money that I plant will influence the amount of money that I get from money trees. And it basically triples your investment. I don't know how accurate that is. For now, I'm just gonna keep digging up the 1,000 and then immediately planting the 1,000 so that the 1,000 becomes 3,000. Timmy and Tommy, how you doing? Welcome to Nook's Cranny, thank you so much. On Sundays, they take a break from buying turnips because supposedly there's a turnip seller. I don't know where the turnip seller is though. Ooh, the hot item of the day is the rocking chair where they pay twice for that. I can make rocking chairs, right? Oh my God, that is so cheap. I can make like a lot of these, probably like 20 or 30. Okay, we'll be doing that for some money today. Look, I have honeybees. They're hanging out by my flowers. Bees are bros. And I have a stink bug on my other flowers over here. Are flowers just a great way to attract insects and then you catch all the insects? Is that is that gonna be the strategy here? This prey mantis right here? Wow, okay. All right, so in the comment section yesterday, D-Rex said to use a shovel to hit the rock and to do a corner spot like this. Because the shovel, I'm gonna be able to hit this rock faster. Let's go ahead and try that. Wow. Nine items. Is that an achievement? Look at that. That was an achievement. Message in a bottle for the day. And it's a paw print door plate. That's neat. Where is this turnip seller? I wish to purchase turnips. Oh, Tom's gonna talk to me about customizing stuff. The design and color will change in the blink of an eye. The wardrobe we make, as well as closets, chests, and other items that store clothing are quite useful. All right, come back to him after I have a wooden wardrobe. Oh, there's a rusted part and another wall. Ooh, a pink wall. Nice, I don't have that color of wall yet. Okay, so I decided to read up on the turn up a little bit and supposedly there is a character named Joan who will appear Sunday morning before noon. And it looks like I was 10 minutes too late in order to find Joan. And then you have the following six days to sell off the turnips, otherwise they will rot. I don't know if that remains true for this game, but that's what it was in previous games. Uh, but the rotting turnips can be used to attract ants, cockroaches, and flies in various games. Huh. So it looks like we missed out on turnips today, but we will get them next week. Cause again, we're not doing time exploits. Well, I am just going to pause recording here and for the next, I don't know, half hour or so, <laughs> just uh, go around my island, hit all my trees, collect all my wood, rocks, so on and so forth. And let's see if we get any fun stuff that happens in the meantime. I almost forgot to give the rest of these things to Blathers. I'm sure he's gonna really like my shiny lantern here. So I hit a rock right by my house and found a golden nugget. 
Awesome. I think this is my fourth now. I caught myself a wasp my first try. I was pretty good at it. My second time, I wasn't fast enough. Then I caught a few bagworms, and as soon as I caught one, my net broke, which is the perfect segue into the next thing that I thought of. I thought back to Minecraft, and I'm like, every time that I'm in an area and I have my storage and I'm doing stuff, I always have a crafting table there. So I decided to put a whole bunch of DIY stumps all around my island. So wherever I am, I can easily chop some wood or shake a tree for some sticks for some cheap tools for an emergency and just some nice quick dirty get the tool I need get the job done sort of situation like this then it started rain that was really exciting because I know there's different encounters when it rains for fishing and it also counts as watering flowers which is pretty dope I also noticed that the bugs have changed like I don't see the ladybugs and the the pre mantis spawning anymore but instead I found a snail on a rock which is neat and a lot of them too okay cool and then there was another wasp nest and I tried I, I, I tried that and I was too fast for that one and there were several more wasps it was a whole mess all right it's now 2 p.m. and it just literally stopped raining as soon as I was done which is a shame because I made this sick primal Kyogre raincoat so time to switch back all right, I've done as much gathering as I sanely could, and I decided to sort of start to terraform this area a little bit. I got rid of the random trees, and I planted them along here with a gap of two in between. And then on this next level up here, I planted the trees, one across, altering between cedar and hardwood, so the clipping actually looked a little bit better, and I planted the flowers along here following the curve. And uh, I really like the way that looks. I do know that once all of my orange... Oh, the bridge is done. I just realized this. Nice. I do realize that once my orange grove is all like filled in and stuff, I won't really have to travel for wood at all. But I did make this dresser that's going to give us the customization tutorial. So let's go check that out. Time to customize my wardrobe. Awesome. I'll give you the customization kits you'll need in a moment. For now, please step to the workbench. You know, you just told me to stand over here. You couldn't have given it to me then. Oh, that cherry wood is nice. The cherry wood would stand out. It might clash a little bit, but I think with the game's color palette, it would look nice. Oh, if you look in the top right, I have 50 customizing kits, and it takes two to customize this. Oh, I'm using a little, little brush. I customized a one in wardrobe. Awesome. Some of the mass market furniture items sold in the shop can also withstand some customization. For example, you might be able to change an item's fabric or add a custom design to it. Huh. That sounds pretty awesome. I could customize my shovel? Oh, it's just the handle. That's that's not too awesome. Once I get better tools, I'll think about customizing my, my tools, but they break way too easily right now. I'm going to make literally as many of the rocking chairs as possible because I have all of this wood and it's literally reserved for me doing projects. And what better project for me to do than, you know, make money and it looks like i'm going to be able to make 42 of these rocking chairs that should definitely help me bring over that 50k that i need i told you guys that i made a chart with all of the fish that i can currently catch here in march and i'm probably gonna have that on screen right now so if you wanted to take a screenshot of this and know all the fish that you still need to catch you know everything that you could get for March since we only have, what, like eight days left or whatever. As far as the river, there's only four more fish I need to catch for the month. And for the pond, there are three more fish I need to catch. Two of them are exclusive during the day. So come 3 p.m., I think it's a good idea that I head over there and I start working on those boys. But we are making so many hot rocking chairs right now. 36,000 bells. Yep, we are about to pay off our loan. And there we go. That is the last rocking chair that I am able to craft. All right, fellas, there you go. Look at the fine selection, hot value, hot items. Yes. Tommy, my main man, you know that 200K that you floated me? Well, I got good news for you. I'm about to pay it off. Boom. Thank you for using this service. Yes, I finished paying off my home loan again. Tom, talk to me, baby. Congratulations, I'm now the proud owner of a luxuriously sized paid in full home. I can't imagine the feeling of satisfaction you must have. Truly, what could be better? Well, I suppose you could have another room. That might technically be considered better, but don't mind me, I simply can't help myself. But do come see me if I've ever piqued your interest, you've piqued my interest. Hello, what would you like to talk to me about? <laughs> About my home. 350k bells. All right, let's do it. Everything should be ready by tomorrow morning. It looks like tomorrow we're gonna have a brand new house. Now I've yet to hold a ceremony, 
So, what happens if I want to do a ceremony? So many different things right now. Truly, this is a wonderful island moment. Oh. A, a ceremony for uh, the Nook's Cranny. Splendid. Let's get started. Welcome to our dedication ceremony honoring Plaza's brand new Nook's Cranny. I need to talk to my new rooster. Wait, no, is my root? Oh, the hippo's new! Look at the hippo! Plays truly started out as a deserted island while well, slowly beginning to develop. Tireless efforts of everyone. Because of you, we've opened a proper shop. My brother and I will work hard to make the best shop, and I hope we can count on your business. Me? Anything to add? Uh, we're amazing. Does anyone have medicine? It's very hard to see. Hope I timed that right. <laughs> it literally told me to take a screenshot. Let's go visit our new neighbor, because I realized that we we haven't visited my new hippo friend. And I say that because she is a hippo, not the size of her. Well, hey there! Thanks for convincing me to make this change. I'm excited to be here. I'm excited to have you. It's Paula's birthday! You here from my big birthday party? Happy birthday! I'm so stoked you're here for my birthday. I know how busy you are. You rock! I don't want to be rude, but you didn't bring anything, did I? Uh, I brought you, oh god. Do you want this wood? Do you want my wood? Here! I like the way you think. <laughs> okay, enjoy my wood. Wow, I gave her the worst present possible and she still was super appreciative. Such a wholesome game. Okay, there's something really weird going on with the spawning algorithm. Because I have three Prey Mantis and a Honey Bee all on my flowers. I have a little bit of time left before that four o'clock uh, cutoff for fishing happens. So I kind of want to start doing that a little bit. So I will let you know my results. I've been doing this for so long. So long. All right, so so I've I, I've learned a lot of things about this. So this is the tuna. It sells for $7,000. You can only get it from the pier. You need bait to do it. And every fish has its own size category ID. The tuna along with most other, you know, super rare and expensive fish is a category six. Uh, the same thing that you see with, like, the ore fish and, like, the blue marlin and stuff like that. Yeah, I- I bet it broke. <laughs> but, oh boy. Look at that. That's a big boy right there. Now, I don't know if a size 6 can only be with bait. I don't think so. Like, I've seen people get the ore fish and the blue marlin. And a big green thing, I'm not too sure what that is. Also, I find it funny that Blathers sleeps during the day, because, you know, he's an owl and those are Noctowl. Nocturnal, not Noctowl. <laughs> Can I go see it? Is that like one of the, one of the big fish tanks? Yeah, there he is. There's our big tuna. Hey there, big tuna. I'm gonna call you Jim. Yep. The beautiful boy right there. Then I decided to try a stream on Twitch for me doing more rare fish. And I realized that I like playing this game by myself. And it's so enjoyable when I'm just sitting and relaxing and playing and documenting what I did or even just the occasional voiceovers live. And this isn't a game that I want to stream because when I'm streaming, it's all about just like talking about the game and stuff. And so many people are talking about doing the day skip exploits. And uh, this isn't just like, like for Pokemon dens, yes, you can get shiny Pokemon easier, but like, that's it. It's not like it's completely changing the game, which the date time skip exploits are doing for this game. I have a second switch and I'm jumping ahead in time and I immediately hate it. I got tired of the game. I got burnt out so fast, did not enjoy it. 
but now like I'm living every day to the fullest. I'm doing all my chores every day. And there's something just inherently rewarding about that, that I love. And if I were to do the date skip exploits, it would devalue that. Perfect example, my turnips. I read up on the turnips after, you know, doing that whole section. And for the turnips, you know, I needed to have Sunday by 12 p.m. And I was too late. And now just I know that I need to wait until next week. And I literally have an alarm set on my phone for next Sunday. And I'm excited to do it. It's something to look forward to, you know, six and a half days from now. And because of that, I... I, if you are playing the game and you choose to do time skips, that's totally fine and you, all the power to you. But for me, I'm not going to be doing it at all. And then I decided to just wrap up with doing some more fish before having to put out this video. And I got my last common encounter that I needed for daytime, which was the blue gill, which is perfect. So now there's no more fish that I need to get at specific times a day during the early part of the day which is really nice so from now on it's either all all day encounters or night encounters I also learned something really important as far as the sturgeon the sturgeon is only available at the mouth of the river and that actually means the bottom area where the river then flows into the ocean so if ever you want to catch a sturgeon that's the one place to do it they don't spawn there very frequently so you may need to use bait and that's currently where i'm leaving off for this video and I want to thank you guys for so much for checking it out. If you're new to the channel and you're enjoying this Let's Play series, do me a favor, hit the like button down below. If you're new to the channel, be sure to subscribe, turn on notifications. Until next time, Austin John out.